So welcome to part 21 of Road to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We are still in melee, obviously. And in this episode, we uh, we start unlocking stages and uh, to unlock. All right, as you guys saw that we got the maximum tomato trophy to get that. You have to do like 10 versus matches or something, but whatever. Uh, pff, forgot what I was gonna freaking say. So, okay, to unlock four stages in melee, you have to do a total of 200 versus matches. So what I decided to do is just uh, have fun killing myself. As you can see, I'm picking like three of certain characters and what I, I'm, I'm very weird. So to entertain myself, I try to get the three characters to do like the same pose as they win or all completely different poses as they win. I don't know, I'm, I'm very weird, but yeah. Uh, 200 versus matches, and these are, this is, we're not done. We're not done with ridiculous amounts of versus matches for unlockables. We'll, we'll come back later, but we unlocked our first stage, Brinstar Deaths, along with the Kraid Trophy. We haven't played on all of these stages before, whether, the, 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 during event matches and stuff. But yeah. We're still missing the Mushroom Kingdom 2 stage, though, but we don't get that from versus matches, so that's besides the point. Uh... Guys like this uh Hyrule Temple remix. <laughs> Love this song. It's amazing. But yeah, switch up the characters. I play as like well first I play as Pichu because you know. Yeah I, I, I like Pichu. <laughs> but then uh I start playing Fox because I can easily just side B off the stage, you know. Uh this recording took an hour and twenty minutes. Killing myself 200 times took that long. Granted, some of the times I didn't kill myself. Sometimes I was like, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess around, try to win." But uh, the second stage we unlock is four side, I believe. I don't know why I paused here. Probably want to go take a poopy or something. But uh, four side is the second stage, and you get the UFO trophy along with the stage. But for doing a hundred versus matches, you get the heart container trophy. Uh, it's 50, 50 matches for Brinstar, that's, uh, 100 for, what the hell is it called, four side. 150 for the third one we're about to get, and one, or 200 for the last stage. Um, <coughs> the maximum tomato trophies and heart container trophy is different from this, but, uh, yeah, this recording was 120 minutes. This is sped up by times like 16. And I'm getting a call from my my mom. Gonna have to wait. She's gonna have to wait. She's gonna have to wait. <laughs> So we start playing as Falco, and then we unlock Big Blue as our third stage. And then that's it. There's not really much to talk about. Um, yeah. So I switched the colors to green at some point, and then after that, after I'm done seeing, after I'm done messing around with the character poses, we, uh, I, I tried doing what I did in uh, Smash 64 the one time I had to speed up fights. And I just tried meteor smashing the characters, which for, cause I don't know, I'm just trying to have fun. <laughs> uh, Ganondorf has like probably one of my favorite, it's probably one of my favorite uh, spikes in the game. Uh, the Ice Climbers meteor smash was like ridiculous to pull off. It's the hitbox, you gotta be like right next to them. So yeah. So, yeah, I really like the Ice Climbers. This 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 really uh this, I don't know, I really like the Ice Climbers. And if you can see in some of the Ice Climbers parts I tried to wobble. Sometimes I did wobble, try whatever. Uh Mewtwo Spike can like fuck right off. Like I don't know how the hell I mean nobody nobody plays melee. I mean nobody plays Mewtwo in melee. <laughs> really? I don't know, I kinda like Mewtwo in melee. I never unlocked him. him Mewtwo and Mr. Game Watch were the two characters I never unlocked as a kid. I think I did have 20 hours game time, but for some reason, no, I think I had 20 hours on the game 
in total. I don't think I had 20 hours in versus mode. So I was really confused. So I was like, all right, fuck it then. I don't want to fuck this shit. I never thought to like, you know, just leave my GameCube on. Because I wasn't dumb as a kid. And when I wanted to figure something out, I would search Google. I wouldn't go on YouTube and search how. But we unlocked our last stage, uh, Pokey Floats. And then, uh, we're not done though. Because there's one more stage we unlocked that's time consuming. And that is doing 15 minute melee and completing it. And I, I messed up at some point, so I had to restart. And what I had to do is take Rumble off because the strategy, as you can see, is me using Donkey Kong's down B, just smacking the ground. And it, the Rumble is ridiculous, and I couldn't stand the Rumble for 15 whole minutes. So, yeah. Uh, I listened to some like podcasts and shit while I did these because these were just uh, uh, the 15 minute melee. The 15 minute melee recording only took about 20 minutes so it wasn't that bad aside from the part where i had to restart but music's lagging so i don't know this recording is probably gonna be out of sync but whatever it's post commentary to sped up footage i don't really care <laughs> But it's very uh, ironic how uh, we do this with Donkey Kong because after we uh, complete this finally, we get Congo Jungle from Smash 64 as our second returning stage as, along with one of the wireframe trophies. I don't remember which one, but to get it, you basically just have to complete 15 minutes anyway. So that's it. Here's a live commentary. See you guys a few seconds. Bye. So yeah, that's a lot of... Uh... A lot of speeding up for this video, but uh, we're coming in at the end. And uh, here's like one of like the funnest things to do. So I don't, I haven't yeah, shown this off yet, which I'm just noticing. What the home run contest? Uh, I'll do one as like an example. Uh, uh, there's a lot of <laughs> just to show it off. So, all right, you fuck up. That's what you do. So you just beat on this little sandbag, as it's called. And then as the timer goes down, you use the bat. And that's a wrap. Pretty much it. See how far you can make it. And this is, this is important. So a bunch of characters, or a bunch of like strategies to make it go further. You can just use your favorite character, but one of the best strategies to use, which is very ironic for what we get for this, is for Yoshi. Grab the bat and be garbage at the damn game. There we go. I mean, I don't know. Will it work? No, it won't. <laughs> All right. I can't short hops. It's so like this is the highest. Like I'm tapping. I, I'm tapping it, like very slightly. Like that's not. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take a while. Shit, dude. It'd be easier if I had to that. Like, how the freaking frack? Will that make it? Nope, not quite. We're almost there. Dude, like. I'm literally tapping it. I don't know what. I'm tapping the wallet. Like that, look. I think I found the new. I <laughs> think I found the new strat. I keep fucking it up though. I was just doing it. I'm doing a double jump cancel 
which is <laughs> shit. I think I did it. I think that's enough. I got it finally at the last second. I used to be able to do it so easily as a kid, but whatever. Take a step back in time to lovely Yoshi's Island. And we got the sandbag trophy. What the hell did I get that for? Uh, I think it's the same. So for getting the sandbag trophy, we have to clear like 900 feet. So we just get a thousand feet pretty much. And for getting the Yoshi's Island stage, we gotta get, like, above 13, 12 feet around there. So, yeah, we unlocked a crap ton of stages this episode. Um, oh, God. We're missing, we're, we're missing just a few. So, here are the four I got from uh, killing myself uh, 200 times. <laughs> uh, these are the retro stages. The only ones in the game that they brought back from Smash 64, those being Kirby's... Uh, Dreamland, uh, Yoshi's Island, and uh, Donkey Kong's Congo Jungle, which is really cool in the bottom left you can see is that the little hexagon shaped thing turns into the stage that you're gonna fight on. It's a very minor detail. What the hell is that? Is that a wall effect balloon? I don't know. But yeah, that's really cool. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode of Road to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. In the next episode, we will be taking our first look at... Where it at? Where it at? Where it at? Actually, I'm not going to end off just yet. I probably said it in the, the speed up. I don't really know. I'm going to repeat it. We are missing this stage. This is the only stage that we are missing that appears on the... As a question mark. And that is the Birdo Trophy. So I'm going to take a quick detour to see. We're going we're gonna to roll... Five trophies from the lottery. Normally, I don't like using the lottery this early in the game because we can get any of these trophies like pretty easily. But I want to see if we can get the Joe, uh, Birdo trophy. So we're gonna use five of our coins, or we're gonna roll five times at least. So Zapdos, Fire Flower looks nothing like a damn Fire Flower. <laughs> Polar Bear, Ditto. Come on. Tangle. Well, it looks like we're not getting Birdo right now, but anyways, the next episode of Road to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, we'll be taking our first look at All-Star Mode, and then continuing Event Match, and finishing it once and for all. See you guys then. Peace, people!